Trabs and Spore soccer fans attack opposing players on field in frightening scene. Wild scene broke out in Turkey on Sunday as soccer fans stormed the pitch in an attempt to attack the opposing team as they celebrated a win. The chaos occurred after Fenerbahce defeated Trabzonspor 3-2 in a dramatic Turkish Super League match that saw the game-winning goal come in the 87th minute. While Fenerbahce began celebrating at midfield, the Trabzonspor fans loudly booed and then some started to jump onto the field and charge toward the Fenerbahce players. One fan dressed in black came running toward the team and attempted to square up with several players and other team staff, with several people reporting on X that the man appeared to have some sort of weapon in his hand. Kylian Mbapp scored a hat-trick as Paris Saint-Germain thrashed Montpellier to move 12 points in League One. Vitinha opened the scoring before Mbapp swept home his first from a tight angle. Arnaud Nordin scored for the hosts and Teji Sabanier drew them level. The France striker's 50th-minute strike flew in off the crossbar, and he finished his third from close range, while Lee kang in and Nuno Mendes were also on the score sheet for PSG. Mbappé now has 24 league goals for the season after scoring his third hat-trick of the campaign. It has been an unusual period for the 25-year-old who has been on the bench for two of PSG's past three league games and came off at halftime against Monaco, where he watched the second half with his mother in the stands. His benchings followed the announcement that he has agreed to join Real Madrid at the end of the season. Before that, Mbappé has one final chance to secure European glory with PSG who will face Barcelona in the Champions League quarterfinals. He also looks set to win a fourth league title in the past five seasons, as PSG moved even further ahead of second-placed Brest, who drew 1-1 at home to Lille earlier in the day. Vitinha opened the scoring before Mbappé swept home his first from a tight angle. Armand Nordin scored for the hosts, and Teji Savinier drew them level. The France striker's 50th-minute strike flew in off the crossbar, and he finished his third from close range, while Lee kang in and Nuno Mendes were also on the score sheet for PSG. Mbak now has 24 league goals for the season after scoring his third hat-trick of the campaign. It has been an unusual period for the 25-year-old who has been on the bench for two of PSG's past three league games and came off at halftime against Monaco, where he watched the second half with his mother in the stands. His benchings followed the announcement that he has agreed to join Real Madrid at the end of the season. Before that, Mbappé has one final chance to secure European glory with PSG who will face Barcelona in the Champions League quarterfinals. He also looks set to win a fourth league title in the past five seasons as PSG moved even further ahead of second-placed Brest, who drew 1-1 at home to Lille earlier in the day. Man Ut player ratings vis Liverpool. Ahmad Diallo at the death. Super Sub wins FA Cup Thriller after Marcus Rashford goes from zero to hero for Eric Ten Hag. The young forward snatched an unforgettable 4-3 victory for the Red Devils to book them a trip to Wembley to face Coventry City. Ahmad Diallo sent Manchester United to Wembley by scoring the most important goal of his career and settling an epic FA Cup quarter-final tie with Liverpool in the final minute of extra time at Old Trafford. Ahmad's last gasp strike, and his subsequent sending off for taking his shirt off in celebration, provided a fitting end to a whirlwind match in which United played some of their best football of the season, but twice had to chase the game. Scott McTominay knocked the ball into an empty net from one yard out to put United deservedly ahead, but Liverpool showed their class by turning the tie on its head in the space of four minutes at the end of the first half, with Alexis McAllister leveling with a deflected strike before Mohamed Salah netted on the rebound after Darwin Nunez's shot was saved. The Red Devils stayed in the game and Anthony came off the bench to drag the match into extra time with a late goal. United were again dominant from then on but again fell behind to a deflected strike, this time from Harvey Elliott in the 105th minute. Marcus Rashford, who had missed a gaping chance to snatch victory in last minute of normal time, lifted himself to pull United level once more. VAR denies Irons stoppage time winner after Thomas Sausek handball. A 96th-minute goal from Thomas Sausek was ruled out for handball after a lengthy VAR check at London Stadium, as West Ham United and Aston Villa shared a 1-1 draw. 
Michael Antonio put the irons ahead in the first half, before Nicolo Zaniolo prodded an equalizer for the Champions League chasing visitors, whose strong work in the second half came perilously close to being undone. West Ham United were denied a last gasp winner after a lengthy VAR check, as they drew 1-1 with Aston Villa in the Premier League. Michael Antonio put West Ham 1-0 up at London Stadium, bravely stooping to head in Vladimir Kufel's cross within the half hour, as the irons grew into the game creatively despite Villa monopolizing possession. It marked an end to a seven-month league goal drought for Antonio, who has netted just three goals this season. Five minutes into the second half, Antonio thought he'd doubled the lead as he bundled home following a Jared Bowen corner, but VAR ruled it out due to a handball from the bustling center forward. Villa soon took control of proceedings and got themselves back onto level terms via a pair of substitutes linking up. Musa Daibi broke down the right before pulling it back across the box from the byline, with Nicolo Zaniolo stabbing it home with a first-time finish at the end of a well-timed run. The Hammers appeared to have snatched victory deep into stoppage time, as a James Ward-Prowse free kick was scrambled into the net by Bowen and Thomas Sausek. But after five minutes of deliberation in Stockley Park, and then by referee Jard Gillett at the pitch side monitor, Sausek was adjudged to have handled the ball before it came off Bowen on the goal line. Astonishing four-goal final sees championship side make FA Cup semi-finals. Championship side Coventry City are into the FA Cup semi-finals after one of the most mind-boggling finishes seen in the competition for many seasons. Coventry were ahead by a single goal as late as the 83rd minute, when chaos ensued. First Wolds got a two-goal salvo to look like they had stolen victory, before the visitors hit back and scored twice themselves to make the last four. Coventry City are through to the FA Cup semi-finals after Haji Wright's last gasp strike snatched a dramatic 3-2 victory over Wolves. The championship side trailed 2-1 from 1-0 up at Molyneux, but scored twice in stoppage time for a remarkable win that sealed their return to Wembley. Coventry opened the scoring eight minutes into the second half with Liam Kitching, nodding Casey Palmer's free kick across the area for Ellis Sims to apply the finishing touch. But after failing to increase their advantage, the visitors saw the contest turned on its head, with two regulation minutes remaining as Ray and Eidneri volleyed in the equalizer, before turning provider for Hugo Bueno to score his first senior goal. However, Coventry refused to lie down and snatched a dramatic leveler in the seventh minute of added on time, with Bobby Thomas flicking on Wright's cross for Sims to volley home from close range and there was to be a further twist in the dying seconds with Sims, setting Callum O'Hare's cross up for right to bend a first-time shot beyond Jose Sa's helpless dive and send the Sky Blues through to the semi-finals. Coventry to face Manchester United, Manchester City to play Chelsea. Championship side Coventry City will face Manchester United in the FA Cup semi-finals, while holders Manchester City will play Chelsea. Coventry City beat Wolves in their quarter-final thanks to Haji Wright's 100th-minute winner. Manchester United turned things around in extra time to beat rivals Liverpool at Old Trafford. Meanwhile, Manchester City cruised past Newcastle in the last eight and Chelsea beat championship leaders Leicester. Both semi-finals will take place at Wembley Stadium on the weekend of 20-21 April. Coventry have not played in an FA Cup semi-final since they won the competition back in 1987 the club's only major trophy. They are managed by former Manchester United striker Mark Robbins, who helped the Red Devils win the FA Cup in 1990. 12-time winners Manchester United last lifted the FA Cup in 2016 and were runners-up in the competition last season. Holders Manchester City are looking to reach their 13th FA Cup final and are chasing an unprecedented second consecutive treble. Chelsea have reached five of the last seven FA Cup finals, last winning the competition in 2018.